In our modern age, a genuine, mind-blowing discovery is seemingly hard to come by. Our ever-expanding knowledge of our planet and the universe means that we are slowly chipping away at the mountain of questions we have about this plane of existence. But every now and then, something truly baffling rears its head, something that throws a wrench in the works of everything we thought we knew. These rare discoveries can be found in the strangest of places, leading to great interest from the public as well as the scientific community. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious and incredibly interesting discoveries. Messier 82 Supernova Explosion Some humans might be surprised to discover that our galaxy is not the biggest or even the brightest galaxy. In fact, Messier 82, also known as Cigar Galaxy, is a starburst galaxy about 12 million light-years away from our own Milky Way that produces stars at a rate 33 times the rate of star formations in the Milky Way. It is about five times brighter with a center over 100 times brighter than our home galaxy. Because it is a high-energy starburst galaxy, it is prone to the collapse of young but still enormous stars which form the astronomical phenomenon known as a supernova. In 2014, the Messier 82 galaxy experienced a Type 1a supernova which was recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope and was logged as the closest supernova explosion to Earth in at least 40 years. The explosion was the brightest point in the entire galaxy and at the peak of the explosion could even be seen with the naked eye or amateur telescope. Amazingly, the event was discovered by chance as a professor at University College London was training several undergraduate students to use a small telescope and looked at Messier 82 because it was one of the only regions not covered by London's dense clouds that day. Once the supernova was discovered and named, satellite logs were recovered and the progress of the explosion could be tracked. The explosion took place over the course of two weeks and the entire cycle of the eruption was recorded via telescopic imaging so that researchers could use the images to increase their understanding of the process of a supernova. As there had not yet been a, such a close occurrence of a supernova since the development of high resolution telescopes and more advanced technology, the supernova in Messier 82 is currently the best documented and studied supernova in history due to its proximity to Earth. The study of this supernova and other similar Type 1a supernovae in general allow astronomers to estimate the relative cosmology of the universe, as well as to understand the mechanisms behind the occurrences of these massive astronomical explosions. Close inspection of the supernova of Messier 82 has given credence to several popular theories regarding the conditions of formation and the structure of progenitor stars prior to explosion. Scientists hope that another such close-range example will arrive to provide empirical support for the theories and observations that Messier 82 began and propagated. China has done human testing to create biologically enhanced super-soldiers. Enhanced super-soldiers are the themes of novels, movies and TV. However, this could be a reality in the not-so-distant future. China has reportedly already done human testing to create biologically enhanced super-soldiers. According to US intelligence officials, China has carried out testing on members of the People's Liberation Army. In a paper published by the Jamestown Foundation in October 2019, China's military biotech ambitions were examined. The paper, quoting a 2015 article in PLA Daily, stated that Chinese military scientists and strategists have consistently emphasized that biotechnology could become the new strategic commanding heights of the future revolution in military affairs. CRISPR gene editing technology is at the forefront of their strategy, according to this paper. CRISPR technology is in the pipeline of multiple pharmaceutical companies for treating genetic diseases and cancer. It has also multiple uses in agriculture. However, there are multiple ethical questions that surround the use of this technology. When combined with other technological advances, genetic editing could pave the way for the creation of a super-soldier. 
It is worth noting that in most countries, this will not happen in the near future, as it is deemed unethical to use genetic editing in this way, and it is banned by numerous governing bodies. Tampering with DNA could have unforeseen consequences. It is deemed unethical to boost the performance of a healthy human via gene editing. The first humans that had been genetically modified using CRISPR were born in China. A professor in the Department of Biology of the Southern University of Science and Technology in Shenzhen, China, claimed to have used CRISPR to delete CCR5 from human embryos, making them immune to HIV, some of which were later used to create pregnancies. In China, he was found guilty of conducting illegal medical practices and sentenced to three years in prison, as he had deliberately violated national regulations on biomedical research and medical ethics. China is rapidly investing in its own biotech landscape, and a lot of CRISPR-Cas9 developments in the global pharmaceutical arena have originated in the country. This could give ample access for the government to test this technology in areas outside of pharmaceutical or agricultural applications. John Ratcliffe, a Republican former member of Congress from Texas and the Director of National Intelligence stated, There are no ethical boundaries to Beijing's pursuit of power. Other technologies that could be used to enhance soldiers include nanotech, brain-machine interfaces, bionics and exoskeletons, which raise fewer ethical questions than genetic modifications, but for now an enhanced super-soldier is likely to stay a hypothetical possibility for now, and gene editing will remain in the area of pharmaceuticals and agriculture. The Book of Soiger in the early 16th century, an unknown author wrote a written work about demonology. This treatise, entirely written in Latin, would eventually be known as the mysterious book of Soiger, otherwise known as Alderea. No one would have known anything about the book if it wasn't for an Englishman named John Dee. He was an accomplished mathematician, philosopher and astronomer who also worked alongside the Queen of England, Elizabeth I. Once he got a hold on the book nearly half a millennium ago, he dedicated his entire life to unlock its mysteries. The first part of the book was easy for Dee, who could easily read Latin. Within it, he discovered passages about the wildest spells, magical formulas and conjurations, and structures involving angels and demons. Yet, it was the last part of the book that really tripped him up. 36 pages of some cryptic tables containing Latin letters. He knew that it must have been a code, potentially with a message. With that realization, he was determined to uncover it, no matter how far his methods could reach. He consulted his close friend named Edward Kelly, who was an occultist and a spirit medium. Heavily involved in the supernatural and mystical, he immediately set to work with D. Instead of trying to spend hours closely interpreting the Latin characters, they instead summoned an archangel, or one of the highest-ranked angels. As the angel named Uriel was present, the two friends asked him about the meaning of the final part of the book. Usually known as the Angel of Wisdom, Uriel spoke his words through Kelly's mouth. Yet, his answer only brought forth more questions, as well as a haunting omen. He said that the book came forth as soon as Adam entered the Garden of Eden, and that it could only be understood by Archangel Michael, the leader of the army of God against forces of evil. Even more chilling was Uriel's statement that the book of Soiger was cursed. If one were to uncover the meaning behind the tables and their codes, they would surely pass away two and a half years later. As time passed, with the fate lingering in the air, D was never able to find out the meaning. The book even disappeared in the late 1610s, thought to be destroyed or forever lost. It wasn't until 1994 when a copy of the book was discovered in the British Library in London among a heap of other ancient tomes. 400 years after Dee's passing, the book had finally resurfaced. It was found by none other than an American historian and professor named Deborah Harkness, who studied John Dee and wrote her PhD thesis on his life's work. As it turns out, there was a second copy in the Bodleian Library at Oxford, 
Upon its momentous discovery, many occult fans and cryptographers rushed back to figure out the final part. After many years of deciphering, one man by the name of Jim Reeds found the answer in 2006. As both a historian and cryptographer, he created an algorithm for understanding the tables, which revealed lists of magical incantations, astrological words, and even more angel and demon names. Did he pass away in two and a half years? As a matter of fact, he is still alive today, 15 years later. But whether the curse remains true, we will never know. Reed had never managed to interpret the tables, as the curse says its victim must do. Perhaps within the tables, a secret and mysterious message still lays out there.